Hi, my name is Deanna Meske. I am an actress and I'm also a professional makeup artist. I received a kit in the mail for testing. I've tested these brushes thoroughly and I want to give you a review. This is from HollywoodBrushes.com. Now this is a nice small kit that I received. You can see all the different brushes. We've got a large powder brush here, a blush brush which can also be used for a powder brush. And we have a foundation brush, which is very nice uh, if you're using liquid foundations. We have, a, this is one of my favorite brushes, it's so soft. This is a large powder brush or also a blush brush. And we'll get into each individual brush in just a moment. It comes with different size of eyeshadow brushes, nice detailing brushes, lip brushes, a wonderful uh, eyebrow brush along with a fresh mascara brush. You can dip it in your mascara or you can use it just to fluff up your uh, eyelashes or take the clumps out of your eyelashes. Now this kit is not very expensive at all. It actually, the whole kit's only $44. Um, I don't know how many of you have actually shopped like at MAC and at different places, but these brushes are definitely comparable with MAC brushes. A MAC brush, this brush, I think alone is like $35 to $40 at MAC. So I was pretty happy when I got these. So we're going to go over each individual brush here. We're going to start with this nice, light, fluffy brush. Now these are made, various different hairs are used in these, but they're all 100% uh, various hairs. Like goat hair, raccoon, pony hair, uh, another one called tacklon. I'm not sure what that is, but it's extremely soft. So we have a little bit of powder here. I'm just going to dip some in some of this powder and um, just put it on my face just like that. Just nice and soft. It feels really soft. It goes on extremely light. Um, it doesn't cake the makeup on, which is really nice, especially for film. When I'm doing a lot of film or working on different actresses or models, they really don't want a lot of caked on makeup. And you can just apply it just like that. And there you go. It's extremely soft and nice. It just gives you a nice finish. This is very good for touch-ups uh, if you just want to do take, remove some of the oil. And because of the natural hairs, that also helps pull some of the oil out of the skin. We have the, the smaller blush brush here, which is very nice. It can easily just, you can use it as a contour brush just to hit the lower cheekbone or just to softly dab the tops of the cheekbone there. This other brush is my favorite blush brush. I love this. This is called the Powder Slash Blush Brush. It's really soft. I know it's red, but it's it's very soft, very high quality. I'm just going to dip that in a little bit of blush here, tap it off, and just use it. As, it it's so smooth, and the angle of it is so perfect because a lot of times when I use a blush brush, I go to put it on, and I... I want to get blush right here, but I end up getting it up here and down here, and this brush just tends to keep it right where you want it. So we'll go ahead and even up the other side nicely. There we go. And there we are. So we have this brush here. We'll go through a different, now again, this is the whole kit that comes with it. And there are many different solutions on the, on the website. You can, we have large brushes to small brushes. You can order them individually. Then they have a deluxe kit. Um, this other brush is one of my favorites. This is like, it's, it's called the eye detail brush. I don't know if you can quite see it, but it's, it's firm but soft at the same time. It's an, it's an interesting brush. But it's really nice for getting in to those those areas where you just kind of need to straighten out. I mean, look at the difference. You can see I already had my other used a different brush on this eye. It, it totally lightens up the eye, opens it up, and just it looks really nice. I love this brush. It's a good all-over eye brush. You could also use it for some type of a, a, this is a this color here is a little bit darker. You could use this in the crease as well if you needed to. And that way you can just lightly, there you go, just like that. Yeah, it's a it's a all-purpose brush. I love it. It's very soft. Again, it's extremely high quality. I think I would normally pay like $30 just for this one brush. I think this retails anywhere from $10 to $12. You have to check it out on the website. That's hollywoodbrushes.com. And let's see what else we have here. We have a nice eyebrow brush. This is wonderful. 
If you want to add a little color to your eyebrows, which I think all of us do, I like to use a color, I use this color called Temper from MAC. I love it. It's kind of reddish brown. And it fits right in there. You just fill in your eyebrows nicely with the brush. It works great. It's perfect. It's, it's not too long. It's not too wide. It just allows you to get right into your eyebrows. You can also double it as an eyeliner brush. I do like to use it if I'm going to touch underneath my eye a little bit and I want something a little whiter than a, a, a real thin, thin brush. And that'll give you a nice line on your eye. And we have various different eyeshadow brushes. I'm not going to go through each individual brush here because that would take forever. I think you just want to get the gist of the quality of these brushes, which they are wonderful. So we have a different, we have a larger eyeshadow brush, depending on your eye too, you know, your shape of your eye. This brush, I don't use this brush a lot because I have real small eyes, but if I had bigger eyes, my clients that have bigger eyes, I definitely will use this to get into the corners of the eyes, maybe even do the lid. This is a great brush. It's a large brush. It's very, very soft, extremely soft. Then we have more of a detailing brush. It's a little smaller. This is great for my eyes. I'll use this into the crease here, put a little bit of color, add a little color there. Let's see if I have a little pink here. Yep, I have a little pink. This is a mineral. This is I use these with loose shadows all the time. This is a loose shadow, uh, which is a little bit different than using your packed shadows. You have to kind of brush it off. Yeah, just use it right in the crease there. It fits perfectly. It, it really lightens up the eye, too. It just applies the right amount of makeup, and your brushes make a huge difference. I have tried all different types of brushes. I've gone to Target, I've gone to Walmart, and I've tried their cheap brushes, and they look good, and then I use them, and they just don't work. You need a professional brush if you want to have a professional look, and these are definitely professional brushes. And finally, we have this brush here, which is a kind of a medium brush. It's called 8E04. The other ones do not have numbers on them. This one does have a number. This is actually a really nice brush. It's a medium type brush. You can, you can use that for up here to highlight your brow. If you want to just use it as a nice all over brush, it also works. It's very soft. Just depends on what, what you're looking for. And at times you may be using different colors. So, you know, when earlier we used this other brush here to hit my brow, maybe you want to put a lighter color on but you don't want it to have white. Maybe you want a pink in the middle. So it's good to have two different brushes for that. And we it comes with a nice lip brush, like a lip liner brush. If you use a liquid liner brush, you can also use this for an eyeliner. If you want to just get a nice fine line under your eyes, liquid eyeliner, this works great with liquid eyeliner. And then this is another lip brush. This is if you have that gloss, you know, the gloss is kind of... Um, hard to get to you or one of my favorite things is I buy gloss all the time and you get to the very bottom and you can't get any more gloss out but you see there's plenty there's at least like a week's left use in there so you just take your brush and you stick it in there and you can get all kinds of use out of it so that's nice save you a little bit of money because you have your nice lip brush and it all comes in a nice little packet, which is very small, which just zips right up. I'm going to try to zip this up easily. It's kind of stuck. There you go. It zips right up. It goes right in your purse. It's very light. I don't know if you can see the size. I mean, I have a purse right here. So this, this doesn't even cover that much of my purse. It's not very large at all. So that is the brush review for Hollywood Brushes. You can go to Hollywood Brushes at hollywoodbrushes.com. There is a list of all of the brushes there, all the prices. They ship extremely fast. And again, like I said, these are very high quality brushes. I highly recommend them.